at this Edward from HXL. So if you're watching this video right now, I believe you know your exam is coming soon in a few weeks time. So in this video, I'm going to reveal all the tricks that I know for you for math studies exam. Okay, so basically for math studies, we all know we have two paper and also we have seven topics. Okay, so and now I'll tell you the exact topic you need to study. Okay, that is a must topic that will appear in your exam. Okay, so make sure you know all the questions of that and uh, also like you revise all the topic related to that kind of question and also secondly I'll tell you the strategy that I use for paper one and paper two okay so first of all the topic that you need to know is the um, is the logic okay so logic you see at least one question on that okay you need to know like how to fill in the truth table and also what does it mean by contrapositive inverse and also converse okay so this is a very important concept yeah so that will secure your remarks and also the second big question type would be on the chi-square test okay chi-square test make sure you know how to find the chi-square test value and also the p-value okay but in the old past paper you see some kind of questions that is related to the critical value okay so you can you can just ignore that kind of question okay because now the syllabus you won't see that kind of question yeah and also uh, thirdly uh, make sure you know how to use your GDC to find a simultaneous e to use a simultaneous equation to find like X and Y value okay so that's kind of very important skills because that will combine with the mathematical model question okay so like that you see a function and then you have X and Y okay and you sub in the value and find the unknowns so and also the fourth question type uh, normal distribution okay so normal distribution make sure you know how to use the two function okay find the probability use the normal CDF or some calculator you see like NCD okay and also the inverse normal find the X value yeah so if you don't understand this topic you can uh, go through my notes on distribution okay so and also the new question type like hard new question type will be on sequences okay so make sure you understand sequences like the arithmetic sequence and also the geometric sequence okay you need to know how to use the formula make sure you know is you're using un or sn okay so if the question asking you a specific term so how do you know it's a specific term let's say find an eighth term a t h then you know that you have to use the un term okay so if i ask you to find a sum of something okay then you use the sn term okay so make sure you don't mess up the two equation yeah so this is very very important because some of the students they know how to do the question but they just use the wrong equation then they get the marks off okay so and also uh, for some past paper question I'll suggest you to do like recent year past paper question like uh, the November November paper okay so November 15 and November 14 so they're also good paper for you uh, for the training okay for the old paper make sure you skip the trigonometry transformation question okay so you see the question will be like a sine b x plus c okay ask you to find the value of a b and c okay so sine graph cosine graph question you can just skip all that okay so basically i hope the tips for you uh will be helpful for your study okay and also the second part is the strategy for the exam so topic right now you understand you have to do all all the all the topics that i mentioned before and also right now the strategy so when it comes to exam how to deal how can how can you deal with the paper one and paper two right so for paper one we got 15 questions like like all short questions right so so this kind of question like make sure you don't calculate the value by hand okay so because you can use calculator in both papers so if you use the calculator to check your answer then you can probably eliminate most of the uh, careless mistakes okay so use the calculator to check your answer and also calculate the answer don't do it by your hand okay so even it's like the easy math calculation just do it by GDC and secondly make use of the solver equation so for Casio model let's say if you want to solve 3x plus 5 equals to 2 you can just type it in in your GDC okay and for Texas model you can use the math and then you go solver okay so just click the math button and you go solver and then you re and then you move like all the equation to one side zero equals something yeah and you can just go alpha solve then you can solve the answer so some kind of question will require you to use this kind of technique especially when you see like 2 power x equals equals 3 so this kind of question then you must have to use the um, solver okay and for text model make sure you have your apps installed okay the polysmith is very important okay and for T1 Inspire, I believe you know how to use it. So you just go to menu and then you just go uh, and solve. Okay? Just type in the equation, then the, then the GDC will help you solve. So basically, the GDC is very important for you uh, to get a level 7. Okay? Make sure you know how to use it to calculate the unknown values. right? 
and also for um, the paper one question okay so just do the easy question first okay so uh, don't stuck at the hard question for too long when I say too long it's over five minutes okay so if you if you use like five minutes to do that question and you still got no clue then you just skip to the next question okay so just come back to do that question when you have time okay because in this by by using this approach you can make sure you get most of the most of the marks because you you won't miss out marks that you can get right okay so this is the first this is the uh, technique that I want to share with you for paper one and for paper two for the new syllabus in the old syllabus we got five questions okay but right now we got six questions okay so six long questions that means you won't have much time left so for this kind of question um, I'll suggest you to do all uh, all the questions that you that you're familiar with okay so that you, you do all the easy questions so when I say easy question that is standardized question okay so that is like question you can see in the past paper so what is the standard standardized question statistics okay so chi-square test logic Venn diagram okay so they're all like standardized topics okay so, so what is going to change will only be sequences and differentiation okay so these are the hard topics okay so if you if you're aiming at level seven make sure all the standardized question you know um, you can like uh, memorize all the question type at, uh, in the exam okay because when you see like when, when you see the math studies exam okay so it's actually just one or two question that will be unseen okay so all the question type is actually the same okay so it's just like memorization okay so if you can do like all the question type and then you go to the exam then you must you can definitely do well right so and uh, make sure you like KO all the standardized question and also if you want to aim at level seven okay so do the hard topic let's say the um, differentiation so focus on the optimization questions okay and for sequences you can um, do my notes okay and also like uh, do do the recent year past paper okay so november 14 you see the pumping pumpkin question okay so that is also a hard question as well so you can try to do all the question before an exam so i hope the tips uh, would help you to get like good grades in your exam Okay, so good luck for your IB exam. And uh, if you have time after the exam and you get good grades, you can come back to take a photo with me. And uh, yeah, so I'll miss you guys. So good luck in your exam.